Okay, let's talk about the ISEE middle level math exam. And if you're watching this uh, video, I assume that you're a student uh, getting ready for this particular exam, or maybe you're a parent looking for uh, uh, resources to help your child prepare for the ISE middle level math exam. Now, um, as you probably well know, the ISEE is an exam that's used for private schools or magnet schools and there's all different type of uh, exams depending on the level you're going to be going into. So we're going to specifically be looking at a math problem that is at definitely at the middle level math. Okay, So that's uh, the focus of this video. Now uh, before we get started, a little bit about me. I am a math teacher, taught 6th grade uh, all the way through 12th grade and beyond. I have a degree in math, master's degree, many years of uh, teaching experience so and also I'm very passionate about math so hopefully I'll leave you with some good um, helpful information about you know uh, how to prepare and do really really well on this ISEE middle level math uh, exam now I'm gonna tell you right now I, I have a specific test prep course for this I'm gonna leave the link in the description of this video if you find that you like my teaching style but with that being said Let's take a look at a problem here that is definitely something you should be able to handle uh, for this particular exam. So uh, let me go ahead and explain it to you first and then uh, give you an opportunity to solve it. So we have a triangle here, okay, and we have some information about this triangle. So here's the area and we also know the base. So what I'm uh, looking for is the height. What is the height of this triangle given this information? So if you think you can solve this, you might want to pause the video and give it a whirl. Of course, I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to do it now. I'm going to solve it. So let's take a look at this. Now, the first thing you need to know about any of these area uh, type of situations or volume situations is what? You're going to need uh, to know formulas. So for your level of math, uh, you shouldn't even have to have a reference sheet, a formula reference sheet, and quite frankly, I don't even know uh, right off the top of my head right now whether the ISE gives you uh, formula sheets. They very well may, um, but uh, irrespective of that, you should know that the area of a triangle is the area equals one half base times the height. There's a lot of formulas in mathematics and geometry but there are some real basic common figures, triangles or circles. Some of these formulas, uh, in my opinion, you should just you know, have memorized uh, right now. Okay, so we're gonna need the formula and now with this, you're gonna need some basic algebra skills, right? So here we know what information? Well, we know the area, okay, because it's given to us right here. We know the base, okay, one half is just a value, and what I'm looking for is the height, right? So we're gonna do what we have to do is plug in some information, and then we're gonna have to solve for this missing variable. So let's go ahead and do that now. So this is gonna be 25 is equal to one half. The base is 10 times the height h. What I'm looking for, right? Okay, so. Let's go ahead and uh, proceed to solve this basic equation. Now, if you think you can solve it at this point, you know, I set the problem up, but uh, here's another opportunity for the, you to pause the video and see if you can actually uh, finish this out. But let's go ahead and continue on. So we have 25 is equal to 1 half times 10 is 5 times h. Okay, so we're almost there. So to solve for h, I have to do what? Well, all I have to do is divide both sides of this equation by 5 and I have 25 divided by 5 is what? That is 5 is equal to h. So our height here is 5 inches. Okay, 5 inches. And that's it. So oftentimes these um, uh, problems are not difficult, of course, if you know what you're doing. <laughs> you know, they're, they're easy if you know what you're doing and you're going to be guessing if you don't. So the whole idea here is this. You know, from a math teacher's perspective, working with this thousands and thousands of people directly and indirectly, um, many, many more than that through my uh, test prep courses and other things that I uh, have uh, available in my learning programs, I can just tell you right now that 
if you're looking for some sort of shortcut way to learn math, yeah, that's a bad strategy to go. Okay, you're going to get frustrated, and then you're right now, especially at the middle school level, and you're going into, you're applying to an outstanding school. You need to double down on your math skills, even if math's not going to be your ultimate thing. You know, in terms of maybe you're going to want to major in a liberal arts type thing or go into dance or whatnot. That's perfectly fine. But right now, as a student, you're going to need to know a lot, a lot more math beyond this. So start working on your math skills so you can do really well on this exam and get into the school of your choice. So let's go ahead and wrap this video up. Um, again, if you want to check out my ISEE uh, middle level uh, course, uh, math course, um, I'm going to go ahead and leave that link in the description of this video. I have hundreds of videos on my YouTube channel and I'm posting all the time. Many of them can um, help you uh, already prepare for this exam. So hopefully you'll subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, I would definitely appreciate a thumbs up and leave me some feedback. Um, like, what is it uh, that you know is troubling you with ISE, or do you feel super comfortable about it? Are you taking it again? Do you have additional questions? Uh, what do you think of this video? Your feedback helps me. Um, you know, get better and come up with new content so I can make more videos that will help you out. But with that being said, I definitely want to wish you all the best on your um, efforts to get into whatever school you're going for. And um, if you're a parent listening to this video, then all I would say, and I'm a parent myself, is just, you know, the more your child studies or you, the student, the more you study, the better. You're, it's very simple. The more you study, the harder you work with a good system without trying to take shortcuts, the better you're going to be able to perform on any test. So I wish you all the best on this exam. Thank you for your time and have a great day.